Hey you guys, this is Renee from BowBeautyBlog.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. You have to pardon me, I'm a little bit hoarse. I'm just getting over a sinus infection. Thankfully it wasn't, it didn't last as long as normal thanks to a lot of vitamins and green tea. Speaking of tea, I got a really cool new subscription box to tell you about. It is the Whistling Kettle Tea of the Month Club box, which is really cool. And I got into a little bit of background. I got into drinking tea a while back because I went to the doctor a long time ago and you, you can check out our blog post, I'll leave a link about it, but I ended up with a cholesterol level of 223 and the doctor wasn't worried about it because everything else was fine, but it really started freaking me out about like metabolic syndrome and the doctor gave me crap because I drink like I was drinking like a two liter of diet pop a day and he's like two liters, I'm like yeah, well I didn't like anything else. And growing up, I mean, I live in the South now in Louisiana, and everybody drinks this nasty, you know, sweetened iced tea, and it's just disgusting. And when I first moved down here, someone kept, they kept offering me tea. Like, we didn't grow up drinking tea. We drank, like, pop, you know, lemonade, and sun tea, but only in the summers, and it wasn't, you know, loaded with sugar or sweetener, and it just had, like, a little bit of lemon. And everyone kept offering me tea. And finally, I took a drink, and I spit that Oh, it was just nasty. I spit that crap out. They had the audacity to ruin perfectly good tea by putting sugar in this stuff. I mean, who does that? But so anyway, to make a long story short, I was looking for something to drink other than pop that could satisfy, you know, my craving, satisfy my thirst because I don't like water. I know that's weird, right? But I, I don't like water. Um, so anyway, I decided, well, I'm going to start drinking tea because I knew there's like a whole bunch of different kinds besides, you know, the stuff that you get in the grocery store. And I knew I liked hot tea growing up. And, you know, we drank our coffee and tea black, no sugar, nothing fancy added to it. You just drink it straight. And so I knew, well, you know, I'll venture into the world of tea, right? And because I knew it's like a lot healthier and it has a lot of health benefits. So anyway, after doing some research, here is what I found so, my favorite kind of tea that I found out is oolong, and that's like a, all tea comes from Camellia sinensis. There's black tea, and that's the leaves are fully oxidized. There's green tea, the leaves aren't really oxidized at all. There's white tea, the leaves are pretty much raw and not oxidized at all, you not, not one bit. Then you have oolong, and that's like partially oxidized, so it's like halfway between, you know, green tea and black tea, but they all come from Camellia sinensis, but there's different kinds of Camellia sinensis. So there's oolong tea, like I just mentioned, that's in between. You have the Dahong Pao, which is like big, big red robe tea, and that's like one of the most famous of the Chinese oolongs. And then you have this Taiwan oolong, which comes from Taiwan. This is like Taiwan high mountain oolong. And this is rolled into little balls, you know, hand rolled. Whereas the Da Hung Pao, that's like little pointy leaves. And then you have, you know, another kind of oolong. And this is Ti Kuan Yin. And that's similar to like the Da Hung Pao in that it's like long and pointy and it's not really rolled up or anything. And those are all dried up. And then you have another kind of tea that's not an oolong, and this is a pu'er tea. This is aged, and they make it into little cakes that look like this, and so it can be aged for many, many years, even 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and it's like this cake, and you break off a piece to brew it, and then, like with all these with all these oolong teas and the pu'er tea, you brew them, which is like gong fu style, and what you do is you take a little bit, you brew it for, you can brew it up to like eight times and let it steep over eight times, you know, for some of them, some of them two to three times, but like with the oolongs, what you want to do is the first steeping, you want to dump it out so that that gets all the dust and stuff out of the leaves, then you steep it two, three, four, five more times sometimes, and you alter the brewing times, and you can brew it about 185 degrees, you know, so then that way it doesn't get the the tannins don't come out and it's not quite as bitter but then you have black tea like my favorite is a Darjeeling you have a first flush Darjeeling and you have a second flush Darjeeling the second flush is the most popular for most people the first flush is like the first picking and the brew times are a little bit different three to five minutes for the for the first flush and four to five minutes for the second flush and these are both tippy which is really really good then you have matcha green tea which is also from the camellia sinensis but you don't actually steep this because you don't like brew it you just this is basically the tea itself and it's like cut up into powder so you're actually drinking the whole tea leaves are you confused yet are you overwhelmed yet because i sure was and so it took me forever to learn what i liked and to learn, you know, about different steeping times, the different methods for brewing, I mean, it took a long time. And I finally got to where I know what I like, but I still like to experiment a bit. And then we got the chance to partner with the Whistling Kettle. And oh my gosh, I really, really wish that I would have found the Whistling Kettle before having to 
learn about all this because this was really, really confusing. Like so overwhelming. Well, the whistling kettle, it was basically like a tea room that, that um, Megan and Kevin Borowski, I think I'm pronouncing that right, opened in upstate New York in 2004. And it's basically like a concept of a tea room. You go and you try all these different teas. You can have lunch. You can have afternoon tea with like gourmet food, all that kind of stuff. Well, then they decided to do like a tea of the month club. They opened up an online store so you could mail order different kinds of teas. And they did the tea of the month club so you get to try different types of teas. Well, then they discovered there's some people who want, you know, just oolong. Some people want just green teas. Some people want just straight black teas. Some people like flavored teas. And then some people want to just try a whole bunch of different kinds of teas to find out what they like. So that is what I received is this sampler pack, like the tea tasting sample club. And every month it's like basically you get different sample packets of different kinds of teas. So if I had found out about this when I first started, my life would have been so much easier and I wouldn't have had to waste so much money on tea that I didn't like or tea that I didn't care about. And I wouldn't have been so confused as to how, how to brew or steep teas or the timing or anything like that. So I'll show you what's inside the box. Let me clear off all this other stuff first though. Alrighty. When you open up the box, it's really pretty. They package it really, really neatly. And in your first box, you get a catalog that is a tea catalog and reference guide, which is really, really handy. And then you get this card that tells you about the different kinds of tea that are in your box. And then this right here is really cool. It's like a welcome card and they give you like a promo code for like tea bags, that type of stuff. And that's junk mail that somehow made it in here. And then this box had five different samples of tea. And if you don't have teaware, there's different methods of steeping your tea. You can use like a tea ball or like a tea basket, or you can, you know, steep it in a teapot. And they also have include tea bags in case you don't have any teaware, which is really nice. And this particular box, like I mentioned, has five sample packets of tea. And they're so good. You guys, I mean, these teas were so, so delicious. So you, you definitely really need to sign up for this. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that right now. So the first tea that I tried, well, actually, I'll tell you the different kinds that are in here. There is Snowflake, and that's one of their most popular teas. It's a black tea with almond, coconut, and cinnamon. Goji berry, blueberry, pomegranate, which is a green tea, and that's their most popular flavored green tea. A turmeric cider, true grit energy tea, and nine bend black dragon, which is like a Chinese black tea that's perfect like if you're a purist and you don't like flavored teas. So they really, you know, gave like a wide variety of stuff, like different types. There is Snowflake, which is a flavored black tea. They did a flavored green tea. They did a caffeine-free turmeric cider, which actually technically isn't a tea because it doesn't have Camellia sinensis in it. And you can learn about that if you sign up because they're very, very informative. A True Grit Energy Tea, which contains pu'er in it. And the Nine Bend Black Dragon is a black tea. It, like I mentioned before, is great for purists. So they inclu included a variety of stuff, which is amazing. They did a great job with the selection. So the first one I tried is the Snowflake. And I don't know if you can see, but it has little bits of almond. So there's actually coconut and almond flakes in here. It's a black tea. And it's a zip, it's a seal, seal, resealable pouch. So your tea won't go bad. And they include on every pouch temperature of water and steep time and how many teaspoons per or the amount you need per six ounces of tea which is super super helpful so they make this so easy i mean it i just wish that i would have had you know information this readily available when i first started drinking tea so this literally has it's black tea almond and coconut flavor almond flakes cinnamon and coconut flakes oh my gosh you guys the weird thing about this is i have a sweet tooth and I love like candy and sweets and stuff, but I'm trying to cut way back on sugar, but I still have cravings. And I had just made a cup of this and there was a TV commercial that had like a cinnamon roll and I love cinnamon rolls. And oh my God, I started craving that cinnamon roll. And then I took a sip of this and when I inhaled while I sipped, it completely satisfied my craving for that cinnamon roll. So this is absolutely delicious. And I wasn't sure that I'd like it because I'm not really into flavored stuff and it did not need any sugar. 
everything in here is all natural so if you like sweet sweeter drinks this is awesome I didn't have to add any sweetener or anything like that to it it was just perfect then the next one I tried was the true grit energy tea which is this one you can see it's like got different stuff in it and it has pu'er tea which is basically like that cake that I showed you a little bit ago but you know it's flaked up purple tea, yerba mate, turmeric, ginger, cocoa, and chili. And temperature 200 degrees, steep time 4 to 6 minutes, and a teaspoon per 6 ounces. So this is really, really cool. I did feel, you know, because I drink a lot of energy drinks because I'm really, really busy. I work out a lot, and I work a lot. So I know that's not good. So this is a much healthier alternative to energy drinks because there's nothing fake, no chemicals in here. And the awesome thing is I didn't have a crash. And Yerba Mate, they, another really cool thing is if you look in your reference guide right here that they include, it shows a meter in here that shows different levels of caffeine. See this right here? And it shows a Red Bull right here, and Yerba Mate has just a little bit more caffeine than a Red Bull. So this is the perfect option for me. And the flavor was delicious. It almost kind of, with like the cocoa, chili, and turmeric, and the pu'er, it almost kind of reminded me of like a chai, but it was really, really delicious. And like I said, no crash. I felt really energetic. I felt awake, but I didn't feel, you know, like I was outside of myself. I didn't feel like I was in a fog or a fuzz. So that was awesome. The next one that I tried was the turmeric cider. And you can see that. And definitely check out our blog post because I'll have close-up pictures of this stuff. And this is honeybush, rooibos, turmeric, cinnamon, pepper, ginger, natural lemon, and vanilla flavor. And again, shows the temperature 212 degrees, steep time seven to 10 minutes, and one teaspoon per, per six ounces. This is also organic, so it'll tell you up here. They give you any information you need to know. And like I said, this is the one that is not technically a tea. So it's really cool that they gave a decaf choice in here. This is really good for it like nighttime. This is another one that kind of reminded me a little bit of a chai because like the cinnamon and the pepper, and the turmeric, and this is great for like it in the evenings. So you're not like all wired right before you go to bed. Next one I tried was the Goji Berry Blueberry Pomegranate. Their best selling flavored green tea. And this is very pleasing to look at because it has blue flower petals in here. And it actually has hunks of pomegranate. Which is delicious and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's got green tea, goji berries, lemongrass, pomegranate arils, flavoring, and cornflower blossoms. Temperature 180 degrees, steep time is three minutes, and one teaspoon per six ounces. Delicious, and this also makes a really good iced tea. And they also tell you that in the guide, you know, which kind of teas, you know, are best for what. And the last one I tried was the Nine Bend Black Dragon. As you can see, this is like just a straightforward black tea, and it's top grade Chinese black tea with distinct woody notes, much like a good scotch. Temperature to 12, 46 minutes, and one teaspoon per six ounces. So you can see how easy this is. So you get to exp experiment with all sorts of different stuff so you can find out what you like and find out what you don't like. And if you do like something, heck, you can order more of it. And they make it so easy. I mean, it's just, I've never seen a company that makes things so easy. The packaging was really nice. You can tell they really care about their customers. Everything was done with, with great care and in their book. I mean, there's every kind of tea you could possibly think of in here. And they tell you if, you, if there's one that you're interested in that's not in here, to let them know because they can probably get it for you. And they go through and break down different kinds of teas, explain the history of the different kinds of teas. And like right here, they tell you it's organic or it'll make a good iced tea. And they tell you in the catalog, you know, the same information that's, <coughs> pardon me, like steep time, all that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I think I need to drink another cup of green tea here soon. This goji berry, blueberry pomegranate stuff is calling my name. And in the back, they have different teaware that you can order. So if you really are interested in tea, or even if you're not, and you just want to try something new or different, or if you want to get the gift for somebody, I mean, you really can't go wrong. I can't say enough good stuff about the Whistling Kettle and their Tea of the Month Club. I pride myself on being honest with everything, and honestly, there's nothing negative to say about this experience. Nothing. I wish I lived in upstate New York, because I would so totally go visit them or go to their tea room. 
I'm just very thrilled with the choices, with the selection they sent, with the service provided, and the price. I looked this up for this, the sampler that we, where I got all these, $22 for a month. You can get it even cheaper if you cheaper if you pay for like more than one month in advance, but the most expensive it's going to be is twenty two dollars a month, so you really can't go wrong. And if I just if I'd known about this, I wouldn't have wasted money. I would have been able to find exactly what I like, and it wouldn't have been nearly as confusing. So definitely check them out. Check out our blog post for more information and for some close up photos of the different kinds of tea that I got. And don't forget to check out the Whistling Kettle. You can go to teamonthclub.com, and I'll leave links down below. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on our next video.